what a beautiful morning, oh what a beautiful day. I have a wonderful feeling, everything's going my way. <laughs> Good morning and welcome, welcome to Fatigue Friday. Yeah, these things happen on these days. Good morning to each and every one of you all and thank you for joining us this morning in beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Yes, it's a stunning daybreak. Uh, we're going to be privileged to see a lot of things that have changed uh, since we were last here. Um, we just all the co-sign differs. The good thing about it is that we have all this co-sign in our archive. So in years to come, when the grandchildren uh, are being thought of or being born, uh, they'll have the opportunity to see what we have seen since we started this journey. And that's going to be very, very different from what we're seeing now. So good morning to each and every one of you all. It is a beautiful and blessed day here in Barbados. Uh, couldn't wake you up any better way than that amazing baritone operated voice. I just told our co-star that I was going to be singing and she went way down the beach. I don't know if she thought that her cell phone would not pick up the signal or what, but she disappeared from here. So good morning to all of you all. It is absolutely stunning. Look at the golden bands around these clouds. Promises of a new day. Let's all get up today. Let's make it worth it. Let us remember tonight we go to sleep, we want to say to ourselves, we did the best that we could and then we'll pray for all of the mistakes that we uh, fell short on. So good morning to each and every one of you all again. Um, we are the EMC Gathering. We are a group of people that come together every morning to bring peace and serenity to ourselves and hopefully spread worldwide. Um, if you read our little bit of um, our birthday greeting this morning, the first part, the conscious words that we'd like to spread, um, you will see what we're trying to do. We're trying to spread our love and our joy and our peace and our happiness uh, from here throughout the universe. And the only way to do that is by using and uh, utilizing each and every one of our friends are similarly minded so they can be sort of beacons so they can continue and relay that, that kind of uh, ideology and thoughts um, to everyone around them. So we will hopefully be one huge ripple spreading right around the globe one of these days and hopefully we will make a difference to this world. So once again, good morning to each and every one of you. We're on the South Coast this morning. Uh, when I told our driver, our crazy driver this morning, we're going to the South, she gave me a yippee, because you know this is her South Coast. Uh, this is also my South Coast and everyone else's South Coast. Uh, contrary to popular beliefs, but anyhow, good morning to you all. We would like to say our serenity prayer now where we're looking into this amazing sunrise. Uh, hope you'll join us. This is a prayer for peace and comfort and guidance and stability and direction and understanding of what we're responsible for. Um, those who would like to join us, please do. All others will be back to you in a few moments' time. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. What a stunning morning. And of course, it makes it more stunning when I can capture my tired co-star. <laughs> we are tired then. I can say the word we. That would apply to us. She calls it a fashionable we. Because even if she is not feeling the way I am and I use we, she says it is a fashionable we. Is that right? A fashionable we? What do you say? A what? Royal. A royal we. Okay, a royal we, a fashionable we. Okay, whatever. She's picking on me so early this morning. Okay. Good morning to each and every one of the... Uh, family last night that came out to make you in the community what it was um, you know when we went to the venue first of all um, you know Jeanette and myself were both saying well we don't know how we're gonna make two long vlogs here um, because the actual location itself was so small however what we did is we incorporated the love and the kindness and the just the friendliness of everyone around so that we could bring you a, a two vlogs not one vlog two vlogs almost two hours of vlogging at CUNY community uh, hopefully you will take a chance just to go up there and have a look uh, hopefully some of you all will make it the entire way through that you'll be able to see um, all of your friends and family that you may not have seen for many years at CUNY Community. This morning we are not going westward. We may be starting walking that way because I really want to show you some pinks that were over there earlier on. It was just mind-blowing. But thankfully uh, our co-star was over here taking all of the photos and all the reflections and stuff. So hopefully we share some of them with you all later on. We are just outside of Sugar Bay. Originally it was the Asta Beach Hotel. That's the first name that was here. Then it was Amaryllis, and then it came into, uh, of course, what it is right now, which is Sugar Bay All-Inclusive Resort. A uh, lot of things have changed. Before I go into a lot of things have changed, one thing that has not changed is 
the amazing and stunning handsomeness of your star star all in cap locks this morning uh good morning to each other, one of you all i am tired as what let me tell you that straight up i am tired as what then get six after 11 woke up at one thinking of you all of course you all really woke me up some of you all made me scream when i woke up this morning i thought i was having a nightmare i said oh no they're here for true <laughs> <laughs> I'm not calling names because I don't want anybody to be in my bar books or me to be in their bar books. So good morning to each and every one of you all. Welcome to beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Uh, it's great to see you all this morning. A blessed Friday to you all. You've made it through the week. You've got through all of the challenges and all of the obstacles that were in front of you as in a work related week. We don't know about those. We don't work at all. We're just on a spree of retirement. So that's all we do. We just go around the place and enjoy life and try and bring our passion and our excitement and our optimism to you all as well because that's what we want to do you know some days i'll be down you will help me and some days you'll be down and i'll help you and all days we will have someone to help us so long as we have the emc and we continue to grow so good morning to all the emc 246 family good morning to all those that walk the journey 246 good morning to the emc gatherings good morning to anything called emc which will relate to early morning crew um, because that will be all about positive. So good morning to you and welcome to beautiful, beautiful Barbados. All right, so time to talk about changes. You all can see uh, down here, done a lot of clean up. A lot of the hotels in South, uh, at least the ones we passed this morning, have been doing a lot of cleaning of the coconut trees and stuff, getting ready for our peak season, which is being promised once more. It's supposed to be a bumper season coming. So any of you that are coming here, get ready to enjoy with your friends and family, because I'm sure a lot of them will be visiting as well. All right, so here we go. Let's go forward into what we want to see now. Um, some of the changes going to start right here. Now, we have not been on here for a few months. Look at the first change that we're going to encounter this morning. You will remember there was a little small rock jetty that was here before that had a pipe. There used to be along this section here. You will see all of these new rocks that have been dropped to form a cove to obviously protect this bay, to protect the beach itself. Um, we've seen this on different parts of the island, very similar to this. Did not know that this much had been happening on the south and we have a lot more to share with you this morning as we're walking. Um, but as I said before, we have Barbados and its archives over the last almost three years of viewing these beautiful, beautiful places. Um, so don't worry about it. Your, your memories will not be lost because we will have captured them in vlogs, not just as still shots, but in vlogs as we walk through here. Um, many, many of our friends and family have walked here with us and many of you, I'm sure, have vacation here. But the differences out here that I am seeing a little bit starting not saying that they may not be necessary but you know me i want the old-fashioned people not that i'm old i am old-fashioned and therefore i don't like to see big radical changes now this may be necessary to protect this beach but um i really haven't seen the beach being depleted too much but i'm sure this is obviously to enhance this property here as well good morning to our co-star good morning how are you going good morning. do you have anything to say to anyone this morning last night you're holding the gimbal and telling a mob of ton of lies so, any lies this morning? I didn't tell them any lies. You didn't tell them any lies at all last night? I didn't tell them any lies. I haven't watched the vlogs, but I go home and watch them for sure because I heard a lot of You're people laughing. Tired. I'm too tired? I'm too tired. Too tired, okay. We'll see about that. Wait till I get your next cup of coffee. By the way, she made the coffee this morning, so if I, I talk in a lot of nonsense, you would know why it is you that way. You always talk nonsense. I always talk nonsense? You're not. Oh my gosh. A big, big fish just jumped right behind you in the water there. I don't know if you all can see it jumping around and playing here in the water in the surface section here. So, yep, there you go. It's obviously chasing some smaller ones. Let's go and see if I can catch up between my teeth so I can show you what it looks like. Um, most people will use fishing lines or spear guns or nets to catch fish. I catch them in my teeth because I make sure... Oh yeah, this little, little one here is running from one that's just behind it. It's trying to catch it. So, I will not catch a little one because then you all tell me I'm unfair and a little fish that cannot swim fast. But if I see that big one coming here, I'm going to put a bite on it and show you it between my teeth. And lucky it went. Obviously, it heard my words. These fish like that understand me as well. They know I'm a cat charmer and a dog charmer, but I did not know that I was a fish charmer as well. So hopefully this fish will stay right up here in the shore break and protect itself. Anyhow, this is one of the uh, extensions that we're seeing. Seeing some other stuff that's really big changes. Um, changes for the good or for the bad, we will see. But big changes. So we can carry you up that and show you that in a second. What a lot of you on here may not know um, is that a lot of bath houses used to be along this section. You'll see groins that go out. Um, you would also have had in, these, in the earlier days a lot of jetties that were constructed off of the beach that used to have bath houses off of the shoreline. Um, this area here is reefed right up, right up to the shoreline itself. A lot of it has been covered by sand 
um, due to dropping of groins, etc. Um, however, a lot of them had bathhouses at the end. What they were, were looking like shuttle homes. They used to have steps that went down into little platforms that were surrounding the entire building on the inside, where people used to go and sit and get sea baths. So you were, if you ever heard about the bath homes in Barbados, this was a place that was very popular for them in the Hastings area. Many of the um, rich folks in this area that owned the homes originally along the section. A lot of these were private homes, they're not almost all condos, as you can see condos or hotels. A lot of these were private beach homes at one time, and they used to have uh, all the groins that were going out. I see about it, uh, uh, groins are needed. Yes, I, I know certain groins are needed, but if they're suffocating other beaches and stopping other beaches, I mean, it's lovely to have international beaches forming around this island, but it's not nice to see the original beaches getting depleted and the sand not circulating to them. So that is my only concern. I'm not saying that groins do not work. I'm saying they also have a negative impact on other areas as we have seen along the south coast especially. You know, the next person will come will put a longer groin out to cap sand in their beach because they're not getting sand because of the other groins to the east of them or to the west of them and then we will stop the circulation of sand completely. So you'll have beautiful beaches in some locations and then no beaches in others. You can see that it's not something that I'm making up. You can see that if you travel the south coast you would know exactly what I'm talking about. It all started originally with the Miami Beach groin, which is Enterprise Beach itself. That all built all the sand there, it started to suffocate the rest of the coastline. It then spread on to the Southern Palms groin, which built a beautiful beach at Southern Palms, but depleted sand from other areas. Not really depleted it, shifted the circulation. Because a lot of the sand that's traveling up and down still is there, but it's out on the reefs, killing the outside reef of Sandy Beach, for example, and other areas as well. So that's something that you can see for yourself. Um, don't believe me, because I know a lot of you do not believe what I'm saying, but you can come here and experience it yourself. Take some photographs that you have from the 70s. Look at where the beaches used to be. Look at where the beaches are now. And you will see all that's happening is the sun is being trapped in other areas and depleting other areas from beautiful beaches as well. I agree, some are necessary. We have seen a lot of coastline, especially on the, on the west and the Accra area, which is Rockley. We have seen those beaches just go smaller and smaller and smaller. But again, this all is happening through the trapping and the diversion of sand. All right, so we're just uh, in front of uh, Pam. Wait, Jeffrey Keeper, if you are my Smedford or on board, good morning to you all gentlemen. I know you all used to live here. We like talked about that years and years ago. They used to live in some small little homes down here that we used to enjoy watching surf from. In those days, you used to get a lot of surf in Barbados. Um, some people say it's still there. But I don't remember seeing the surf that I used to see when I was growing up, for sure. And that's not that long ago. You can remember I'm born in 1971 on the 5th of April. Beautiful this morning. We have a low tide. So it is really, really beautiful. I'm not too sure exactly what time the low tide was, but you can see the impacts now. I did not check the charts this morning. I was too tired because, of course, my co-star kept me out last night. Made me run vlogs all along into an hour and 15 minutes and then told me, shut it off and deprive the family from the rest of the beauty. She's not listening to me right now. She's far away, so she cannot hear what I'm saying. But let's do a circle of love right here. Enjoy this view, people. Now, I'm not sure if Joy is up this morning, but Joy, I know right now your heart must be beating, but don't worry. It's only a few more months and you'll be right back here with us again. Uh, please make sure that today if you capture any photos of me, do so with a nice expression on my face. Do not get me as though I'm the beginning of a horror movie, please. 
<laughs> you, you can do that to our co-star because you know she will send you a private message to tell you to get that done. I almost you, 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 you almost messaged her? I mean over something the other day because she took out her vengeance on you. <laughs> Good morning to each and every one of you all again outside of Coconut Court Hotel. Again, um, this is a hotel that is below the height of trees. So I'm very comfortable with this. It's also a property owned by some very, very long time friends. I will have to call them family. Um, you all know Ted Stores and James Blades and Mark Blades and all the other family as well. This is the Blades Hotel. This is beautiful. A lot of you have stayed here. This place was one of the most popular spots around COVID time for when you're going into isolation or in quarantine prior to your release into Barbados. It is also a very, very popular spot with lots of people. I mean, I've heard nothing but positive comments from here. The only thing that I've ever heard about the Coconut Court Hotel um, was that you do not have elevators. So people on the top floor and stuff have a lot of steps to climb. But that's uh, you if you're fit, go to the top, keep yourself fit. You don't have to get up in the morning, go outside and go in the gym. You can run up and down those steps all day up on your steps. But let's go up and have a look at it a little bit closer. All right, we have a whole morning. I told my co-star this morning, I was going to keep this short. She said, oh, thank goodness, but let's wait and see because you know you already, you can't come off. It's not that it can't come off. I want to share the joy and the beauty with you all. Now, she's going to tell you different. She's probably going to say, Nicholas, that is not what I said. I would never say that about the family, etc., etc." But you all know you all can trust me. I don't tell anything but the truth. I do not fabricate any stories at all. They're all realistic. Beautiful decking area. Love you being on here to live bands, to steel pan, etc. They also have a lovely section on the beach area itself. You can come and sit by a bar and a little restaurant. It is a lovely facility. I, as I said before, I have never heard a negative comment about here. Not one. If you want to stay in this area, this is one of your options for sure. Definitely look at this beautiful morning. 20 second photo opportunity. Here we go. Alright, I gave you a little extended time there because we have a timekeeper on here that's very fussy uh, and sort of like really picky, picky, picky. So if I tell you 20 seconds and I fall short of it, um, she's going to complain and say, you said 20 seconds, you only gave us 19.5 seconds. Uh, likewise, if I go over 20, she'll quarrel, but I'd rather her quarrel if I go over than under for sure because if not, she can fret all the time. So good morning, timekeeper. Good morning to everyone else on here. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning, Barbados. I know it's my song. Um, sort of like known by everyone, but I'm still going to let those that may not be aware, you'll see um, some galvanized hoops around some of these here. These are actually look painted, but there are galvanized hoops that are usually around these coconut trees. They said they've just done a lot of cleaning of the coconut trees. You can see how well uh, sheer back they are for the upcoming season. Um, usually the galvanized hoops that are around these here to stop rats from climbing up into the tree and biting into coconuts, etc. Um, so that is what is normally done to almost all the coconut trees in Barbados, but as you can see, all the bands that were here last time we were down here have been removed and I'm sure they will be replaced. They're doing a lot of work down here, but that's the only way right, to stop the rats from going up in the coconut trees and causing havoc. So we'll see how that progresses, but right now you can see where the bands used to be um, with the color of the tree itself. That's where it will probably be replaced. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Um, this hotel has always had its outer rocks, I would say for as long as I remember, that sort of like protect the bay. But what you may not know is they dropped some big concrete balls with holes running through them so they could um, like in, sort of like um, encourage fish colonies to settle here so spear diving is not for, is not allowed here there's no official thing saying not but do not come out here and catch these fish please these are tamed fish that are now beginning to actually come and replenish the ones that have gone from years ago but in this section here um, you can get some sand settling on sunny reefs you can find some sandy areas you can swim right now most of the sand is up on the inside section where we're standing, hardly any on the reef itself. So if you're going out here, I would recommend having a pair of beach shoes in this immediate area um, so that when you walk out, you won't stop on any sea urchins or any uh, I won't say sea eggs, because you already don't see them too often now, as you all may know. 
but beautiful. There is an entrance that comes down here, right opposite the Marriott's by court, uh, courtyard by Marriott's, which is just that section there. So if you want, you can um, be up in that section. I like to say Boozos. I'm not too sure what your name is. Uh, I like to say that to annoy certain people that are on here. I'm not gonna call any names this morning. But they're located on the other side as well. So if you want, you can come park somewhere in that general area and walk over to this beach if you would like. Or you can walk park anywhere along your Hastings boardwalk section and walk just a few hundred yards down the beach. Beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. Sun in this morning. Tide is so low that the little pools that we normally go into that would normally be a wrong way side are probably only about hip high or knee high this morning because of the lower tide. But that enables us to walk around and see more than we would normally see. Good morning, Malcolm, my brother. Good to see you online. I see you were way out in the ocean the other day. Happy to see you back on land. Uh, I don't know what kind of, how, how much rolling and rumbling you must have had out there with those swells that were coming through, but you definitely would have to be a real sea man to be able to handle that. So good morning to you. Welcome back to Barbados Shores, my brother. Beautiful area. Now this whole area is about to transform. I don't know if you all are aware, but there's a huge controversy going over on about a 10 story condo to be built in this general area here. A um, lot of conversation going on about it, a lot of public outcry and stuff. Um, you all would see why the whole place is turning into condo land. So that is something that's going on at the moment. So if you're not aware of that and you see anything or negative in the papers and stuff, well, that's what it's all about. It's about a new condo that's being constructed here. Um, it may be just a jump in point between the one above and this one here and then in between to be filled But we don't really know because that's something I am not privy to that information But speculation, you know, I'm gonna do that and make sure you know it's only speculation and not factual When it comes to serious um, things like that, I want to make sure you all understand It's just what I believe is happening, what my observations lead me to believe what's happening, not that it's actually happening So as I said before, these kind of groin areas here would have been Originally having bathhouses out here. There were quite a few of them I think there were two or three in this area from what I've heard from the older generation Of course that would have been slightly before my time for sure When it came along spandex was invented. We didn't bathe in large frocks <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I really can't resist that So you see this whole section here is transformed as well. This used to look like a little oasis and cannons on it You see a pallet put down here. Obviously there's a lot of work going on Boy, I hate to do this here, but I have to do it a lot of work's going on on this structure still. They seem to have come to their highest point way above sea level by at least two stories, which would be a proxy 20 feet. Um, so that has gone beyond what was supposed to be the stipulated height as far as I know. Um, I am aware that there was a regulation that you were not allowed on the coastline to build above tree level, but that's obviously something that doesn't apply to all over. I know for sure it is still trying to be practiced on the west coast, but so of course it's exploding as you can see quite clearly. Beautiful, beautiful morning. We're gonna walk in areas that we could not normally walk on the uh, higher tide. We would not be able to walk in front of these rocks this morning. We can do so quite comfortably. Uh, I'll just show you again. This lady here is always busy. Whether it is spreading our words, spreading our love, going into conversation with people to encourage them to join us, or taking stunning photos, always busy. If you see her or when you don't see her with me, don't think that I'm the only one that's working hard. Of course you know I'm working hard. You can hear that quite comfortably. And you can see me sweating uh, and drips of sweat coming off my brow. It's because it's pretty humid today, but I'm working really hard as well too. Um, but she is always, always working. She does not stop. And I'm, an amazing addition to the journey and to walk in on this journey with me, of course, and to my life and to the enrichments and the enhancements of my life. All right, so we're not gonna look back at that ugly tall building. Sorry to say that, that's my opinion again. Uh, we will continue up to these beautiful little pools and stuff that have been formed here. These rocks have been dropped a long time ago when the actual Hastings boardwalk was laid um, and have built a lot of sand in this area that originally, or over the last few years, had not had sand. Or I should say over the last 10 years or so, 10 years ago and such, didn't have much sand here. But sand has been building since the boardwalk has been laid but beautiful. If you would like to rent, we do have a lot of our family um, that use Airbnb in this section. These are just some of the properties in this area here. We have passed some on the inside um, before that I didn't actually point out, but I like to point out these here. Beautiful area as well. Right opposite to here is the Dead and Dread Surf Shop. Dead or Dread Surf Shop, sorry. Good morning, Russell. Good morning to your entire team. Um, as you know, Russell has a surf school and he also has his shop where you can get any of your surfing gear or boards or whatever you want 
um, Chet Russell out here, just here, just by the pavilion court area as well. All right, we're gonna make our way across here. We got a little bit of a reef here. This was all sand the last time we walked through here, so sand has shifted again. Um, I don't think it's saying do the groins are here yet, but it most definitely has shifted, so I'm gonna have to make my way inside. I do not have on beach shoes this morning. I am not practicing what I preach. So I'm stepping gingerly and gently as I make my way back into the uh, safe zone known as the sand, along with my coaster. Wait, hold on a minute. Let me not get that background scenery for you. I am not happy on you at all. How are you going, my dear? You good? I'm good. You have anything nice to say about me this morning? If not, do not say anything at all. I won't say anything. Say pass, else. say pass. Pass. Okay, thank you very much. You all see how well trained I have her? You see that? She obeyed my instructions absolutely perfectly. That's because I am an amazing instructor. Um, yes, I don't let's not talk about last night. Not talk about last night. Oh, you were talking bad things about me last night? No, no, no. No, no, no. I got to go back and look at that video though because I noticed that um, I was seeing some things from the Seagrate Police. Good morning to you, Angela. It's great to see you on this morning. I am so sorry that you lost Friday and you're in Saturday, but don't mind that. It's fine, right? I know you probably want to avoid hearing me this morning. You want to see Nicole, so you thought you would say good morning and happy Saturday to you because you just want to see Nicole. But sorry, you have to wait another 24 hours before you see Nicole for sure. Remember, tomorrow we have those sales Saturday. We have not advertised where it will be because we're waiting to check the wind charts, which have been varying all week due to different systems in the general area. Um, so if you check the wind charts uh, later on today, we'll let you know where we are. So if you have transportation, please come and join us and walk with us. Um, you know, as I saw, said before, every time we say something here that sounds derogatory about someone, it is always done through love and fine happiness. Everyone who we talk about will tell you that they know that for sure. Expansions to groins everywhere. This entire area, wait till you get around the corner. We got an eye opener for you for sure. This is the reason why we came today. We've been hearing about, I'm from the in, in, what, Indigo? Yeah. Indigo Hotel. We've been hearing about it for a little while now in different groups, chat groups and stuff. So we thought we'd come this morning and give you a first hand view as well. But as you can see, groins are being dropped and expanded all over this coastline for sure. Really beautiful. This sand beach here, or this, be this section of sand, uh, this is all built due to the Hastings and the groins, the Hastings boardwalk and the groins have been laid in this immediate area. Um, this is really a lovely section. As I said before, we have some pools here that you would have to kneel down in now if you want to get uh, cooled off. But we're going to do that right now for you because you know why? It's time to tease you all and annoy you all. So all of those that wish they were in the warm Barbadian Sea this morning, I'm going to let you know I will be there. I will do my best to capture it for you, but you will not feel as beautiful as I will be feeling in a few seconds time. I'm not sure if our um, Michael Star will be following me um, because she, right now, she seems to be a little bit angry with me. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, for the life of me, I cannot understand why anyone would not be happy and love me. That's for sure. Anyhow, she's not angry, but she definitely gave me a lot of trouble as uh, she did last night. I gotta go home and check those videos because I know you all have been privy to comments that I do not even know were said because I, I handed over the gimbal last night. But then she realized after a period of time how heavy the gimbal is. So she handed it back over to me and then I took over again at Cuny Community. But if you want a little bit of fun, please go up and see um, the co-star in action last night. All right, so really nice. Now before this grind was, or before these grinds were laid, before the boardwalk was made, you could have come around in front of here um, on some watered area. It wouldn't have been dry sand. You can get a low tide sometimes at different times of year where sand has built, where you can actually walk on the outside of those rocks here on sand as well. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but let us go down and submerge ourselves in the water so that we can give you a waterborne uh, circle of love compliments of the EMC. This is the EMC circle of love. Here we go. Just beautiful. 
And what, what is even more beautiful, which I know is me hard to believe, but you will see in a minute, will obviously be me. <laughs> Good morning to each and every one of you all. As you can see, I am comfortably in the sea. You are not, but I'm trying to bring you the best of it. Remember, tap your memories and merge them with your visions and you will feel yourself right here in this water as well. I am sure of that. I see all the hearts going up now. I turn it in my direction. I know it's not a delay. I know all the hearts are for me because everyone loves Nick. Here we go. All right, so we can do a little more walking now. I just want to bring you. Oh, she's coming. Are you coming in? You're not coming in? You're not coming in deeper? Oh, she's going back in. I should never have said anything. I may have caught her and then I could have splashed her. If she'd come any closer, I would have doused her down with water this morning if you all, you know. No my I would probably have to go home and eat some soda bits and sardons. I would have done so happily because I would be able to bring you all some humor and laughter and maybe a, a few bleeps and blunders and I would probably have to edit it before it got on YouTube, but it would be worth it for sure. <laughs> you have your volume off, right? Now you just turn it off, turn it off right now before the 10 second lapse comes up. I think you should turn it off for sure. You're not turning it off? <laughs> oh, shoot. All right, so on we go again. So a cool hotel just on the inside of us. Show you that in a couple of seconds. Just got to get uh, my tuxedo and put it back on here because unfortunately my tuxedo caddy um, is, has retired and thrown in the towel and said she doesn't care who wants her to carry the bike or who thinks that she's more beautiful than me carrying the bike. She is not carrying the bike because she is not a hee-haw and I am the only hee-haw here. There you go, there you go. See, she's confirming that. All right, Soko Hotel right here. Good morning, Thompson family. Um, whenever I pass here, I still feel Ann and Bill all the time. Uh, Bill has passed on, but Bill was one of the main pioneers to push the Barbados surfing um, onto the international arena. Any of you don't know about it, Thompson, uh, Bill Thompson, uh, international or amateur international comes on every year along with the Xander. I'm not sure if Bill Thompson was, uh, if Thompson was this year again, but it's another charity fund one more time. So again, another person that has passed on until we see them again, but has left a lot of memories and a lot of good behind them. All right, so a lot of sand is built up here. Get ready when we go around this corner to get some, some shuddering, shocking changes. We'll do that in a few minutes for you. All right, we're gonna, what we're gonna do right now? Oh, this is a nice little sign. This is sort of like the one that was up by Blue Pineapple. Um, a lot smaller, but here we go. If you know the person that created this, please tag them. Let them know that we have seen their work of art on film this morning. All right, I gotta stop for a second and put on some shoes. And uh, it's because of my baby feet. And the reason I have baby feet is because I always wear shoes. But if I don't put on shoes right now, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So I'm going to put you here for a couple of seconds. Let you enjoy this view while I put on these beach, beach shoes. Let me back with you. I dare not give her the um, gimbal again after last night's performance. I can't afford to let her have power over this gimbal at all. So I'll rest you down for a minute. Enjoy the silence. Enjoy the view. Enjoy beautiful Barbados. I'll be back with you in a few moments. There she got Beijing her feet. Right. When you all hear the oohs and ahs, you know because she refused to take her shoes from me. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I did say you would have a few moments of silence, and yet you all heard my voice, and that's because there's only one thing that better silence and uh, serenity of this sound, and that would be me, of course. So. I thought I would share you myself with you all and do a multitask situation. A lot of people can't multitask. If they thought they couldn't put on shoes, but I put on my shoes and I have talked to you and I have made sure that you've enjoyed the beauty of not only the scenery, but of my amazing, amazingly tuned voice. Here we go again. Reflections and glows this morning. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. You say rainbow? Where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as um, my co star is so cleverly seen, we have a rainbow which she's gonna do some photos of. I just dust off some sand your shirt. See that, oh you see it, okay. <laughs> they always carry a person with you if you're going to the beach. So that if you get sand on your hands, you can wipe your hands in their shirt or in their pants. And that is my recommendation. Do not go to the beach alone because if you go to the beach alone, you will have nowhere to wipe your hands. So I would definitely take somebody with you at all times. Look at this scenery, people. 
Seriously though, let me give you a let me give you this here in view. I'm gonna get out that out of it and let you enjoy this scenery. Here we go. Alright, remember folks that on Sunday we have called an emergency meeting of the office staff. We will be uh, at the TML One Love Bar that is in First Street Whole Town. We put up an ad a few days ago or earlier this week to let you know uh, that we will not be having a Monday vlog. Uh, the only way that's going to change is if we uh, have a very early night. But uh, with the TML starting around 8.30, that's the time we're calling everyone to order. Um, we are around 8, 8.30 I should say, yes. Um, we, were make, we may not be having the Monday vlog, so at the moment there is no Monday vlog. If that changes, well, it changes. We'll let you know at that time. But as we had put in the ad, we not only did the location of where the bar is, we did not only give you the address of the bar, but we also, or sorry, of the office, my apologies, <coughs> getting ahead of myself, but we also put in a Google um, pin for you. So if you are not sure of the address or do not know the name of the bar or the location that we've given you, you can click that pin and come to it. So there's no excuse of getting lost. A lot of our um, Spice team who are early birds like myself, who will always enjoy uh, their beauty sleep, will not be there. Um, they have said that a little bit too late for them, which is understandable driving in the dark and stuff. I'm only going to have to walk a hundred yards from the TML bar when I'm finished. <laughs> I'm bragging. Yes, I am bragging. Um, so you would understand if you like to come and join us if you're on the island whether you're a Barbadian or whether you're a visitor you'd like to come and join us um, you know to, to put, have your input into the work uh, please come and join us at TML we'll be there from around 8 30. Uh, I will be singing for sure you have heard a little sample of my singing this morning you will know that it's something you do not want to miss for sure um, not, nor does anyone else in this world if you're on the island come on down to a whole town and listen to my finely tuned operatically trained voice another groin expanded one more expansion again so <laughs> this was way back to the darker rocks you can see the lighter rocks with all the armored armored stones that have been put down there um you can see the expansions here i'll maybe turn this corner you're gonna sort of like really be breathless i think now i don't know again this is speculation this is only based on what i'm seeing um but i don't know if this is how it's going to remain or this is how it was done to expand this groin and the one that's to the east of here which is very possible for example all of the heavy equipment is going to be coming down through here and they're bringing parts of the actual foundation that they have dug out over periods of time and they're bringing it out here to expand these groins and also some other rocks from the caribbean islands that have been brought in armored stones this that we're going to be walking on right now <clears throat> could be possibly just a road to carry the rocks from here up to the groin in the distance which is very possible um, or it could be an entrapment to catch some sand here so that the hotel will have a bigger beach this is in, in indigo hotel this is where this will be if you want go up online and have a look at that and check for the expansions and also for the artist impressions and stuff don't know how high it's going but i will tell you this is most definitely one of the strongest structures i have ever seen built there's steel everywhere look at the amount of steel that is in this here steel everywhere h beams all over the other side um, massive steel columns and stuff lots of them we're not gonna go right up on this road i could walk right across here quite comfortably but what i want to do is show you they have some new artwork that's up here that's being put onto these walls um, to enhance this boardwalk for the time being so we're going to make our way back and we will look at this as we are going up i think this will probably be a road that's just being laid hopefully to get the big stones to the other groin <clears throat> i don't really know if this will be remaining as it is we saw that seen that done quite a few places we saw that butterfly beach when we were reinforcing their breakwater they had a road that was in front of it. We were wondering what it was. Um, Mr. Kent called us and told us that the road would be removed as soon as they had just reinforced their front section, which was done. Um, so that's possibly the same thing again here going on. Um, but as I said, we have some new artwork here. So we want to take our time and go across here and let you have a look at the amazing skills of a lot of people on this island. Um, there were always, or for the last year, there have been uh, paintings here. However, a lot has changed. A lot of new ones have been added. So. We don't leave out anyone. We don't leave out anyone's um, artwork. There are barcodes on here. Uh, there's also information about the different artists that are along here as well. So if you're interested in purchasing some of these arts and also some of their other stuff, you can easily find their names right next to them. We're gonna take a slow walk along here and let you see some of the creativity 
that these um, folks have put onto canvas for you to enjoy. <coughs> I know you all are crying. Jack was just telling me they want to hear your voice, Nick. They want to hear your voice. Don't stop talking. Everybody's begging for you to talk. But I, I'm going to give you all a break. I walk for a little bit going up here so you can take in some of this beauty uh, without too much distractions uh, by my beautiful voice. Just so you get an understanding of the amount of steel that's going up in this structure. This is just an indication of it. Steel on steel on steel. Lots and lots of heavy duty work going on here. A very strong structure for sure. If you, may, if you do not know, this is where um, used to be the Caribbean Hotel in this general area here. That's in recent times. Um, that was left for a long time without any work being done on it. Um, and it was a lot, a lot of public were calling for it to be taken down. However, the land was purchased and there's a new um, resort that's going to be going up here now. We did mention it to you just now, the name of it. So you can always look at it online and stuff. Good morning, how are you? Am I getting your way this morning? Would you like to spread your chair and joy to all of our friends from around the world? Uh, everyone is saying good morning to you, by the way. All spread love and happiness. Good morning. Wonderful. You've been for long? A wonderful day. Thank you, and a blessed weekend to you, okay? You're welcome. Take care. Thank Thanks again. Much. Okay. All right, so we like to include people, especially when they're smiling. <laughs> either, either when they're smiling or tired, don't put the camera in their face. We like to include them for sure. Uh, I have a lot of friends and family at Q that do that as a joke. A lot of you all may think it's serious, but they do that because they obviously want the camera and we enjoy sharing that with them. So I think this could possibly be a road that's just being used to carry the other big stones across to the next groin without actually damaging the boardwalk itself. So that is a possibility. I don't think this is going to be a beach that's being left to build here. Um, it definitely looks like a road section. I don't see the very big boulders that we're seeing on the groins itself on the outer section, just boulders to protect the actual marl that's being used here. We also saw a very similar thing to this here down by Haram Bay as well. Um, when they were first building a uh, outer breakwater um, off of Herring Bay, like to the north of Herring Bay, between there and Alling Bay. Um, and we saw them and then remove that and just have the big uh, armored stones in the water. So, as I said, this may just be a roadway. So don't get too concerned. Let's find out a little bit more about that and see how it goes from there. <coughs> we did say we are heavens. Hold on a sec. I was distracted. I was distracted by my co-star. She's the one who said, show them the road, Nick. Show them the road. Don't let them see the art. You said that, right? I said nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I thought I heard you say it. Pictures. Oh, my, my apology. It must have seen an echo or something that I heard coming off of the cliff. No, She's very know. adamant that she said nothing, so I'm not going to argue with her. All right. <laughs> I'm walking away from her quickly, as you all can see. All right, here we go. If I mess up anyone, I'm sorry about that there. It wasn't intentional. Blame it on the co-star. <laughs> <laughs> you look, you look extremely like exasperated. Why, why are you looking that way? I don't even have to defend myself anymore. Why is that? Why do you not have to because defend yourself? Everybody knows you lie. Oh, jeez. And on. you blame everything on me. Okay, well, that that's really not true. But that's it a nice way true. of putting it. You're very convinced, and you actually almost made me believe that was the truth. You're very, very convinced. I will say the University of Higher Education has taught you extremely well. Yeah. I'm going to go and have to give those guys some serious kudos when I finish here today, okay, for sure. Okay, you do that. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Another set of cliffs and stuff. The beautiful parts of Barbados that you do not see have been captured here or caught here on canvas for you to enjoy. And also the imagination of a lot of those um, that are on this island. And also a lot of visitors and a lot of people who have made Barbados their home. A lot of artists in Barbados, all of them not born in Barbados, but a lot of them have adopted Barbados as their home. I know most of you will probably just want the camera to be on me as I'm walking to catch my profile, but I thought I would share you something a little bit more colorful. Although it's not as beautiful as me, it's certainly more colorful than me this morning. Um, if I go in the sun a little bit though, it would be more colorful than these, but anyhow, that's how it is. Good morning, how are you? Wonderful. Morning. Alright, so my thoughts are they're going to be putting a groin out here a little further. Probably similar to what we saw just now at Sugar Bay, which will probably go out and down a little bit um, to try and build some sandy inside section and, and create somewhere that's good for swimming. Um, because directly in front of this hotel or where this hotel is being built, um, there is no swimming because it's all reef. 
So I would imagine anyone that's investing this kind of money in this section here are trying to create some kind of swim, um, swimming area or sand area um, for their guests to enjoy. I don't know what's going on between the hotel and the really boardwalk. I'm sure there's a lot of land there, so I'm sure that will also be utilized. Um, if you look at the artist's impressions again, that would confirm it that there's going to be a lot of um, front area there for the guests to enjoy with long chairs and pool, etc. So we're going to take a little walk out here and then we're going to make our way back onto the boardwalk itself. Uh, we're going to be stopping at Hastings Rocks. We just want to bring you and show you this morning the developments that are going on, things that you may not be aware of. Try and ease the suspicions of some, though I have probably created more suspicions by my own speculations, but that's how it is. But you can see these are much larger, much larger stones that have been laid out here, armored stones. Um, so they're obviously doing something in this general area here. However, as you see, the armored stones get a lot smaller, but there are a few of them piled up in between. So we're going to see what's happening here. We will keep updating you. As you know, we, we live on the beach line and we also live coastline or inside on the island itself. So we don't just bring you or tell you what is going on. We actually show you it. We want you to be a part of these walks as well, which I'm sure you are. But how beautiful is this or what? This is, although, although there's a lot of rock and stuff here, the reflections this morning, quite impressive. Really, really impressive. As you can see, um, my co-star cannot keep up with me and that's because I am an Olympian. I am so fit that she has difficulty in keeping up with me. It's not that she's stopping her to get pictures. I mean, it's only obvious that she's catching her breath. You can look at her. She's not hearing that. So let me, let me keep a little quieter because I'm getting closer to her. This amazing person that's with me this morning. She's out here this morning sharing and enjoying all of the walk with me. You're having a good time? Good morning, how are you? So lovely, absolutely lovely. All right, so moving on again. We'll keep our eyes on this area. We'll pin this area and we'll let you see what it looks like later on. Boardwalk, all lined with lots of restaurants and bars. The one immediately to our left, which is what we'll talk about. We won't talk the others now because we're not in that location. This is Blakey's. Come here and watch some live entertainment. You can also get your putting in sauce here on a Saturday. Numerous places to get down the island, but this is one that I know quite a few people come to and enjoy. We've come here quite a few times and listen to our family, Kurt. Good morning, Kurt Fields, and there are bands that play here as well. A lot of bands play here, a lot of artists, so you can come and enjoy that festivities here. Unfortunately, this whole area is lined with this bush, but <laughs> we can't really get away from it. It does keep the sand in place. It does have um, its uses, and if it's trimmed right, it looks like a beautiful hedge, but as you can see, it's not really that great. Oh boy, look who's coming on here. She probably does not want me on camera, but we're gonna focus and say good morning to her. So she, she's looking, she's looking as though she doesn't want to say anything. Good morning, Lou. <laughs> Thank you, good morning. All right, if you all know Barbara, that's Barbara making her way every morning, every morning of life she's down here. So she's on island, she's down here doing her walking and getting fit. All right, we're not even gonna talk about Hastings, actual Hastings rocks at the bandstand area. We can leave that for another day. What we can do is just get to a location that we can see the coastline itself. If you're interested in having some breakfast or interested in seeing some artwork or a farmer's market, that is the Hastings Farmer's Market over there, our Art Splash Center as well. They have Wi-Fi facilities. You can go there and have breakfast, lunch. Um, you know, be on your Wi-Fi and do some work there. <laughs> work, a lot of people call it work. A lot of people don't do any work at all. They sit under a laptop in front of them and surf the net, but then tell you, oh, I was working hard today. But if you'd like to be one of those people that say you're working hard or be one of the people like me who really do work really hard, you can come down here and enjoy their Wi-Fi facility. There's also a Wi-Fi facility from the NCC, um, which is just to our east of where we are right now. All right, we can go right out on this little pinnacle here so you can enjoy some scenery of Barbados. As you look towards the west, you will notice sargasm this year, very, very light. Although there's so many beaches, this is extremely light in comparison to years gone by. Okay, so from my amazing co-star up there, she can't hear me, you know, I want breakfast. My amazing and beautiful co-star up there, uh-oh. <laughs> and of course, from the beautiful and amazing and most handsome and most incredible and gifted Olympian in the world, that would be me, of course. I just had to say that because someone else said, oh, you're talking about so-so, no, I'm talking about me, obviously. We wish you all a pleasant and peaceful day. We hope that you carry the peace and serenity that you found. Remember, you are one of the beacons that carry the positive ways that we think. You're one of the people that relay that signal. Our ripple will not end as long as you and you bring other friends to help you as well. Come join the EMC. This is not, it's not anything negative at all. All we're about is bringing peace and love and happiness and spreading cheer and joy to those around us. Have a great day. 
Um, see you all tomorrow morning for Dosel Saturday. Remember, we will be putting up our little ad later on, let you know where we will be. If you're on island, please come and join us. We would love your company. Um, you will be um, serenaded for the whole day by some very floral and beautiful lives from Nicole, who is known as Miss Care. She's so creative and so ingenious that she will probably say negative things about you and you will whip, whip her and say she's the most amazing person ever. Um, but that is how gifted she is. She's been under my training for almost a year. So you will know she has a very good arc and tells lies so smoothly and delicately. So let me go over here a minute. Let our, um, our let's say our co-star, I, I, I can't hug her to myself. Our co-star say bye to you all. He's not getting breakfast, I heard him. You heard me? Of course I did. You must miss her. Do not listen to your lying ears. You listen to me, okay? I will tell you everything is truthful. Okay. okay. <laughs> so farewell folks. I hope you enjoy this morning. Um, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Be safe. Remember, the day does not end any weekend. It starts all over again and it continues every day. So please do not throw caution to the wind and celebrate too hard. Take your time, pace yourself, and try and um, you know pace yourself in a point that where you can enjoy and remember your night as well. Have a great day, be safe, love you all.